Um, John Boyle, you have a question for Bobby? I do. Bobby, this time last week when we talked to you, you said the defense is not where it needs to be. You clearly weren't very happy with the performance. At least three quarters of this game, you guys shut them out just about. We're pretty dominant. What what it take to turn things around for you? Uh, yeah, I just felt like we needed to stop talking and just uh, do the work and let our you know our play show. And so I felt like we were a lot more aggressive um, and you know we were able to get in the backfield and get the quarterback off the spot. Um, obviously, we still have things to work on, but um, I think it was a step in the right direction. Curtis Crabtree. Yeah, Bobby, to be without as many guys on defense as you were today, to have the group step up and have this kind of a performance, in addition to what you were talking about a second ago, how, how big a step could this be for you? It was a really uh, big step, especially for those guys. You know, we had a lot of guys out. Um, you know, we had guys playing positions that they probably haven't played before, um, but they went out and executed and did great. So, um, you know, definitely uh, excited about the step forward. But... Uh, it's just one game. It has to be consistent, and uh, look forward to keep doing that. Maz Vita. Hey, Bobby. In terms of uh, when you talked to the defense and said it's, it's time to play, did you have to say anything else, did, or did just the players take it upon themselves to stop talking and execute today? Um, definitely, I feel like, you know, as the, the leader of the defense, you had to address the team. Um, you had to bring the issues to, to light and um, get everybody on the same page and talk about discipline and, and uh, you know, consistency. And that's kind of what we did. Um, everybody locked in this week. Um, we had a great practice, great week, and it showed um, in the game. Bob Condota. Um, yeah, Bobby, is it, the word blitzing just sort of a, a game plan thing, something you really saw in the 49ers, or is that something you kind of went and lobbied to the coaches for a little bit too in the wake of last week? Or Say say the first part again, I missed that. Yeah, just the more blitzing this week. Was it was it more a reaction to just San Francisco and it kind of fit them, or was that something you kind of wanted to lobby for in the wake of what happened last week at all? Or uh, I mean, yeah, I always, uh, you know, talk to them about blitzing more. So uh, whenever they call my number or whenever they, uh, you know, choose to put that in the game plan, um, you know, I get excited and, and I try to do the best that I can. Jackie Montgomery. Hey, Bobby, your stat line in particular is pretty impressive tonight. Um, did you take it, was it, did you feel like a personal responsibility to lead by example in tonight's game? Yeah, definitely. I felt like, you know, it, it started with myself. Um, you know, I think you have to, you know, sometimes show the guys what, what focus looks like. You know, a lot of guys are young and so, um, you know, I was really locked in, prepared this week, and, and uh, just wanted to come out and, and have a lot of energy. Michael Sean. Bobby, just how, how good did those pass rush reps feel today, getting to the quarterback a couple times? It felt, it felt real good. You know, I felt like I was, you know, practicing moves all week, and, you know, I got an opportunity to, to do some of them, and, and uh, you know, I was able to get in the quarterback space, obviously able to sack him a couple times, and, um, it felt good. Uh, I know you practice with Clint sometimes with the D-line and the hand fighting and stuff. Did, did some of that stuff that you do in the offseason or training camp pay off, in particular, any of those rushes? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, working with them, working with the D-line, uh, talking to the D-line, uh, seeing what they see uh, definitely helped me uh, figure out, you know, what moves I was going to run on uh, particular guys. Thanks. All right, last one for Wags, Joe Fan. Bobby, do you feel like it was just an increased volume in blitzes, or do you feel like you guys changed some things up to, to make them more successful? Uh, and then, just, you know, with you for yourself and others? Uh, I think it was a combination of both. I definitely feel like, uh, you know, we were a lot more aggressive, blitzed a lot more. Uh, and then there were opportunities where, you know, I was one on one uh, with the center or one on one with the guard and uh, just try to get my best move and see if I can, you know, get to the quarterback as well as the other guys. The other guys did a great job. Um, Alden had a sack. Uh, we had a lot of uh, pressures, and I think it was just important for us to get the quarterback off the spot and not let him just sit back there and, and uh, you know, pick it apart. What did you make of DJ Reed's debut? Uh, you haven't gotten to be around him for very long, but he had some uh, blitzes tonight that se seemed to set up a couple of the sacks. Yeah, he did a great job. Um, he was somebody I was looking forward to coming in and playing. Um, you know, when he got hurt, I was watching him prepare uh, you know, work out and try to get right. He was reading books and things of that nature, so he was super locked in. So when he came back, it was that same focus. He came back and, 
you know, it, it wasn't like a, he had to get sped up. He knew the defense. He knew the calls. Uh, he knew the communication. And so it was just cool to watch a guy, you know, go from uh, being hurt and watch the process of learning the defense and, and staying like, locked in during a difficult time because being injured is not fun. And, uh, you know, him coming out there and, and getting the pick uh, and, and as well as a couple of the blitzes uh, he did was just great. Thanks, Bobby. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, guys. And gals. Thank you.